Yeah, he's gonna have to ride the bench until we get divine favor. Then it, then all bets are off, right? But you know, we actually need to be able to have play. Look at him; he's angry at me. He's like, "What the heck, man? Eat me!" This guy's pissed right now. He's like, "What? You didn't play me on turn six? Oh, so now we can just go YOLO? Oh wow, he's looking for execute. Oh, he did get no. He looks. He couldn't kill it. Are you serious? Wow. The dream. My name is Mason Steele. Welcome to Surviving Standard. Today's deck is called Armory Paladin. Why is it called Armory Paladin? Well, it's named after the weapons in the deck. We're playing a full 10 weapons in this 30 card deck. So fully one third of our deck are weapons. Let's take a look at some of them. We're starting off on turn one with Double Lights Justice and we go all the way down at turn seven with Double Vine Cleaver. What are we trying to do with the weapons? Well, we're trying to make huge Furnace Fire Colossus. And when that discards a lot of our hand going YOLO, we can reload with a couple divine favors. And that's the key interaction in the deck. When you when you discard all these weapons, the high durably weapons like Lights Justice and Sword of Justice work really well with the Colossus to give them a lot of toughness. And then you reload with divine favor. Another card that helps the one attack weapons, Lights Justice and Sword of Justice, is the two copies of Spiteful Smith. Anytime this guy's damaged, it turns your sword to be relevant attack weapons into very relevant attack. We're playing a couple Divine Shield minions on turn one, Argent Squire and Righteous Protector. These are of course going to work very well with the Rallying Blades in the deck and they work greatly with Sunkeeper Terum later on. Another card that works with Terum is Vine Cleaver. Very easy to attack twice and then make a full board of 3-3. Uh, because this deck has so many weapons, a lot of situations the best thing to do is to actually go face and become a face deck. You're going to have the equality consecration combo to sort of get yourself into trouble if you fall behind on the board. But because there's so many weapons, so many four attack weapons, right? Two, two true silvers, two vine cleavers, that adds up to 30 damage just on those four cards alone. Uh, it, you can get lethal just by going face. So pretty cool deck to play. I suggest you guys try it out, it's a lot of fun. The last drew we played was Aggro Druid. So I guess we assume Aggro Druid? Keep that one just in case of uh, something naughty. <laughs> Vicious fledgling, right? The light protects me. I'm gonna want my Sunkeeper Terror if he's Jade's though, right? Yeah, damn it. Currently gonna coin out a smith and hope this thing does work. It's kind of awkward. I got so many weapons. If we draw the the uh, colossus, then make a huge guy. I don't mind that honestly. It just means spreading plague is is not as good. The land serves me. I'm gonna assume he's gonna ultimate infestation that, so I'm gonna 
get super value out of this. I'll just throw that away because, uh, I guess, yeah. He's got a hero power, okay. Um, so this does six damage, that's cool. Oh, that's that's actually a combo with our deck because we have the Colossus, right? Got to do it. I got to do it. Evil will be purged. So he might have Deathwing, right? He might have Deathwing. Or no, okay, that one. Okay, we still have a seven attack. We still have a six attack weapon. Cut. This is, goes to. This takes ten mana. Ugh. He needs the ultimate infestation, right? Because I need to be able to do this <laughs> to get all the like the justice and the the sword, both justice swords. Gross. I really wanted it to get more health, right? Alright, if he makes if he makes poisonous, we get him. Did not make poisonous, okay. Some big boys. If he death wings, like I got the death wing counter. Although he still has this going for him, right? Hmm. Wow! Oh, he's gonna spreading plague. The quality wins the game. Oh, he does have death wing. Nice little Deathwing. Nice little Deathwing. So he needs to top deck something big here. That's a pretty fucking big top deck. I mean, it's low tempo, right? But. Spreading Plague is bad, but I do have a Consecrate. Equality kills him, so. Just gonna go for it. Swipe, okay.
He has to armor now, right? Then he just die? Rip. You win. I can rest now. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, guys. If you want to see more of this deck, please click on the link to the left. If you want to see more decks in this series, click on the link to the right. And if you want to see the channel grow, please click that subscribe button in the middle. To watch me build the decks live, I'm on Twitch. Follow the link below. Thanks, guys, and I will see you next time.